Welcome back to Tain Slayer Info. On 31st May 2022, the Ministry of Defence signed a contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited worth 383 million US dollar to produce 350 plus units of the Astra Mark 1 for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. These Astra Mark 1 missiles are an all-weather beyond visual range air-to-air missile which is developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation and manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. DRDO has already started the process of transferring the technology of the missile and associated systems to Bharat Dynamics Limited. The main aim of Indian Defence Forces to go for these Astra Mark 1 air-to-air missiles is to phase out the Russian R-77 beyond visual range air-to-air missiles and based on the trials and evaluation studies, both the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy feels that Astra Mark 1 is far better than the R-77 missiles of Russia. It is indeed a proud moment for DRDO since this is the first indigenous missile to enter the service of the Indian Defence Forces which has always depended on the Russian air-to-air missiles. Now coming to the other update on one more air-to-air missile which would be very soon integrated with Sukhoi Su-30MK fighters of the Indian Air Force is the IWBER beyond visual range air-to-air missiles. Both Astra Mark 1 and IWBER air-to-air missile will help both the Indian Navy and Indian Air Force to engage targets over 100 kilometers. The IWBER is an extended range air to air missile developed by the Israeli defense technology company which is Rafael Advanced Defense Systems it is the latest and the most advanced version of company's electromagnetic air to air missiles family india test fired the iwer missile from tejas light combat aircraft in goa during april 2021 marking the tejas lcs improved beyond visual range capability an indian air force sukhoi su 30 mk fleet is expected to be equipped with these iwer missiles by 2022 tentatively another point to mention about both astra mark 1 and iwer missiles is about its two way communication based on the software defined radio system which is very difficult to jam the iwer missiles contain electronic counter countermeasures which is designed to deal with the challenges of the aerial combat in a flexible way i'll be uploading a separate video to provide more detailed information about the iwer beyond visual range air to air missiles for now let's expect india finishes all required evaluation of both astra mark 1 and iwer missiles at the earliest and equip all relevant fighters with these air to air missiles thanks for watching Stay tuned to Tainsley Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.